For this experiment, we need a bob with a hook, a cotton thread, a physics stand, and a clamp. Procedure Fix the free end of the pendulum to a point on a monopod stand. Measure the distance from the clamp to the metal bob. Pull the pendulum bob to one side and measure the time for 10 oscillations. Repeat the procedure for a series of values of Y taking readings of the corresponding value of 10 times. To calculate the time for a single oscillation, we use the formula total time taken over total oscillations. To measure the oscillations of a simple pendulum, we need the formula T equals 2 pi under root L over G. So a pendulum exhibits simple harmonic motion which allows us to measure the gravitational constant by measuring the pairs of the pendulum. By measuring the period of a pendulum as well as its length, we can determine the value of G, where G equals 4 pi square L over T square. So we assume that the frequency and period of the pendulum depends on the length of the pendulum string rather than the angle from which it was dropped. Now we'll take a real life example. For this, we need a swing and a person. A person starts to take swing but stopwatch starts when swing is perpendicular to the ground. Note the time t for 10 oscillations and use the same formula total time taken over total oscillations to calculate the time for a single oscillation. I hope you liked the video, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel.